里面还有人吗？ No. The calm of a Wednesday morning was abruptly shattered when Taiwan experienced its most intense earthquake in the last 25 years, leaving behind a trail of destruction, death, and a tsunami alert that reverberated as far as Japan and the Philippines. <laughs> This quake, occurring shortly before 8 o'clock local time, not only rattled buildings and roads, but also marked the beginning of a day of distress and rescue efforts. <laughs> Taiwan's National Fire Agency confirmed the initial tragic figures. Four people lost their lives in Hualien County, and around 60 were injured. This count would rise with the report from United Daily News, which detailed the fate of three hikers who met their end in rock slides in Chiroko National Park, showcasing the magnitude of the natural disaster near the offshore epicenter. Uh, Mama. The impact on infrastructure was immediate and alarming. A five-story building in Hualien suffered severe damage, with its first floor collapsed and the rest dangerously leaning. <laughs> Taipei also felt the impact, as falling tiles and construction debris affected the capital, leading to mass evacuations of students to safe areas, equipped with safety helmets, and using books as shields against falling objects. The chaos extended to transportation services, with train services across the island and the Taipei Metro suspended, and a newly built airline compromised. The situation worsened on the east coast due to landslides and debris obstructing roads and tunnels. Despite the initial panic, the rapid dissipation of it highlights Taiwan's resilience and preparedness against these phenomena. Residents, accustomed to tremors, regularly participate in drills and receive alerts through media and mobile devices. However, even the most experienced were caught off guard by this earthquake, like Shin Su and Kong from Taipei, who admitted to being brought to tears by fear. In a stroke of luck, the tsunami threat largely dissipated hours after the quake. Japan's meteorological agency reported three meter waves in Yanaguni and smaller ones in Ishigaki and Miyako, leading to the deactivation of the tsunami alert. This earthquake, initially measured at 7.5 and adjusted to 7.4 by the USGS, had its epicenter near Hualien and a significant depth that exacerbated its destructive potential. The international community remained vigilant, with Japan sending military aircraft to Okinawa to assess the impact and China offering assistance, while the Philippines canceled its tsunami alert. Oh my god, that was scary! In the context of this catastrophe, the international community's response was swift. Huh? Earthquake. China, despite political tensions with Taiwan, offered humanitarian assistance, a gesture highlighting the importance of solidarity in times of crisis. <sighs> Zhu Fenglian, spokesperson for China's Taiwan Affairs Office, reaffirmed the giant Asian country's commitment to providing necessary aid. <laughs> Such mutual support is crucial, especially considering that Taiwan and China share not only geographical proximity, but also the risks associated with their location in the Ring of Fire.
Boss. On the other hand, in the Philippines, the tsunami alert that initially alarmed the northern population was canceled hours after the earthquake. The decision was made after assessing that no significant sea level changes had been recorded that could pose an imminent risk. Hello. Hello. This episode underscores the importance of having efficient monitoring and early warning systems capable of guiding coastal populations to a quick and safe response. In Japan, the agility of the self-defense forces in deploying aircraft to gather information on the tsunami's impact in the Okinawa region once again demonstrated the country's response capabilities to natural disasters. The Japanese government, aware of the havoc these phenomena can wreak, urged residents to stay in elevated areas and not to succumb to misinformation, promoting an atmosphere of calm and cooperation. Taiwan's experience with previous earthquakes, such as the devastating 1999 quake, has fostered a culture of preparation and resilience. Drills in schools and the rapid dissemination of alerts are a reflection of a society that, despite the frequency of these events, remains vigilant. This earthquake, though surprising in its magnitude, found a relatively prepared population, which was able to react to initial fear with quickly regained composure. <laughs> this earthquake serves as a reminder that, in the context of shared vulnerability to natural disasters, international cooperation and mutual support are not only desirable but necessary. The ability of nations to come together in response to these crises reinforces the idea that, beyond political or territorial differences, human security and well-being must prevail. The solidarity shown by China and the coordinated response in the Philippines and Japan exemplify how, in the face of nature's indomitable force, humanity can and must come together in empathy and join assistance. Oh. Oh my God. Taiwan, situated in the Pacific Ring of Fire, is a frequent witness to seismic activity. However, this event stands out not only for its strength, but also for the broad spectrum of response and solidarity, both locally and internationally. With the memory still fresh of the devastating 1999 earthquake, this episode reaffirms the urgent need for preparation, cooperation, and mutual support in the face of nature's indomitable forces. Bagsak lahat. I hope this information has been helpful. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.